Well, thank you very much for watching How to Tear Down and Walk Through. For this segment, I'll show you how to set up restrictions on your iPad. This will work very much the same for iPad generations 1, 2, 3, and 4, as well as iPad mini. There are minor changes for the iPhone, but we will go into that in another segment. So first thing that we need to do is locate settings. If you have a lot of applications like I do, you may find it easier to actually search for it. So as you can see here, I'm going to swipe over to the left and just start typing in settings. The first hit is my settings, and then from there, we're going to go into general on the left hand side. On the right hand side, we scroll down until we see restrictions. Select restrictions, you'll notice that they were off. And the first thing you're going to do is enable restrictions. It's going to ask you for a passcode, and it's a four digit number that you come up with. I'm just going to choose a very simple one. And then it will ask you to re enter that passcode. Now we have access to all of the restrictions. Now you'll notice that um, there are quite a bit of options here. Now restrictions are really good for people that allow kids to use their devices because they're easy to set up and can be a great way to protect young users as well as your data and settings. So if you're concerned about them using things like for instance Safari or the cameras or iTunes and let's say for instance you don't want them installing any applications or deleting your applications, um, and especially don't want them searching for explicit language. You can also jump in here and make sure that they can only watch, for instance, only G movies here. Let's go back to restrictions. And you can also set up similar guidelines here for your music by turning off explicit music. You can change your TV show ratings. I like to take it all the way down to G. And then in books, you can also remove any um, illicit material from your bookstore. Applications, you can also narrow this down. I like to go with uh, nine and under. And then in-app purchases, you definitely want to turn this off for other users. Now you can set up this require password right here and what this does is as soon as you shut down your uh, or you stop using your device, it will require a password to jump back in here um, if you set it up as require immediately. If you give yourself about 15 minutes, that prevents you from having to punch in your password uh, many times, perhaps in a single sitting. Personally, I think the immediately option works much better. Now privacy down here allows you to restrict those users from accessing certain things that you might not want them to get into, like for instance your contacts. And you can of course personalize this any way that you want. So if you don't want the, uh, the little guys getting into your Facebook, you can of course turn all this off. Let's jump back here. Now the last thing is these multiplayer games. This is really important because my, for instance, my children like to play games, but I don't want them playing multiplayer games online because I can't monitor the language used inside those chats. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those off. I also don't want them adding friends that I don't know. Now, as soon as we're done, we just go back up in the upper left hand corner and click on general and you'll see it takes us right back into our general section. Now my restrictions are on and then hit the, uh, the home button here and you'll notice that I no longer have access to Safari um, and, and all my restrictions are now working. Now that's great for when the kids are playing with the device. But what happens when I want to go back in? I certainly don't want the restrictions on myself. So let's go back into settings. Again, you'll need to locate settings on your device. Next, we're going to click on restrictions again. We'll punch in our passcode and you'll notice all of your restrictions are still in here. Now I'm going to disable restrictions. You can do that by punching in your passcode one more time 
and now they are all gone. And it's that simple. So thank you very much for watching this. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. We have many more of these to come.